integrate e to the x over 3. So if it was just e to the x, we would get e to the x. But here it's e to the x over 3. So we should make a u substitution to make it uh, match you know, e to the x. So we're going to let u be this piece here. We'll let u be equal to x over 3. And now we have to take the derivative of this. However, um, it might be better if we think about it like this. u equals 1 third times x. So now when you take the derivative, it's just easier to think about. So here we get du, and here we get 1 third, and then the derivative of x is 1, so we just write dx. Okay, now we need to make this look like what's in our integral. So here we have a 1 third, and then here in our integral we don't. So we need to get rid of the 1 third. So we can maybe multiply by 3. Boom. That gives us 3 du equals dx. All right, now we're ready to you know, make our substitution. So this dx is just going to be our 3 du. So I'll pull out the 3, write the integral sign, then here's our du. Okay, so all we've done so far is replace the dx with 3 du. What about this? Well, the e stays there. And we know what this is. We called it u. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Um, when you integrate e to the u, you get e to the u. So this is 3 e to the u plus c. And then u is x over 3. So this is 3 e to the x over 3 plus our constant of integration, capital C. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.